Hello all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is Ingrid and I want to welcome you to the healthybloodpressure.com channel. High blood pressure is a common health condition throughout the world. Doctors often prescribe medication for blood pressure that's too high. They may also ask you to make some lifestyle changes. These include following a heart healthy diet among other things. But diet isn't just about eating healthy foods. It's also about hydrating yourself by drinking enough water. Not drinking enough water can cause dehydration and it could affect your blood pressure. So let's first take a look at what dehydration is and then we'll go into the link between dehydration and blood pressure. We'll also talk about how much water you're supposed to drink. So what is dehydration? On average, adult bodies are made up of 60% water. This water has many purposes. Water begins by being the primary building block of cells. It helps heat and cool your body, lubricate your joints, helps in swallowing and digesting food. It flushes waste and toxins and insulates vital organs to name just a few. So what happens when you don't have enough water in your body? Dehydration is a condition where your body doesn't have enough fluids meaning that you lose or use more fluid than you take in, which prevents your body from carrying out its everyday functions. Anyone can become dehydrated, but it is particularly dangerous for younger children and older adults. Your ability to perform mental tasks and your physical coordination can become impaired by as little as 2% dehydration. Dehydration is generally divided into three stages. One, mild, two, moderate, and three, severe. The first two stages can generally be reversed by consuming fluids with electrolytes. While some moderate and severe stages can lead to death if they remain undetected and untreated. So what are causes of dehydration? In most people, dehydration is a result of not drinking enough water. This may be because you underestimate the need to replenish the fluids in your body. Or you may not realize the many ways you naturally lose fluids from your body. Conditions such as excessive workouts or physical strain can cause fluid loss. Those who live in hot and humid conditions tend to sweat a lot, and excessive sweating can also cause dehydration. Fever and diarrhea can cause fluid loss. Even minor medical conditions such as infections that affect the lungs and bladder can cause dehydration in older adults. Other medical conditions can also cause dehydration. Certain medications that lead to frequent urination can cause dehydration as well. Anything that makes you lose a lot of fluid that you cannot gain back quickly can cause your body to dehydrate. Severe dehydration can be life-threatening. So what are the symptoms of dehydration? Lack of enough fluids in the body can cause dizziness, confusion, or tiredness. You can also have a dry mouth. Feeling thirsty is one of the first signs that your body needs more fluids. However, as you age, your sense of thirst decreases or may even go away, making it even more important to monitor your water intake. You're also likely to urinate less frequently if you're dehydrated, and your urine could be darker in color. Severe dehydration can make you go into shock or seizures. So what is the link between dehydration and blood pressure? There are a couple of studies that have established this link. Let's look at them and then talk about how dehydration affects blood pressure. The research. Scientists at the University of Delaware published a study in 2019. This was a study of existing evidence of how dehydration can affect the heart. It looked at previous studies that collected information about people who habitually drink less water. The scientists say that over time this habit can lead to complications. These complications include reducing the working of the inner membrane of the heart and the blood vessels, and this could make the heart work harder to pump blood. Thus, blood pressure may increase. In 2019, the American Heart Association published another study. The purpose of this study was to determine the effects of saline water on blood pressure. Bangladesh was the venue for this study. Some participants in the study drank mild salinity water and others drank fresh water. The researchers measured the participants' blood pressure before and after the study. They noticed that those who drank saline water had an average reduction of 1.55 units in the higher reading of blood pressure. 
The lower reading of blood pressure was also lower by 1.26 units. They concluded that minerals such as calcium and magnesium in the saline water can help lower blood pressure. This shows that hydrating with mineral water may improve your chances of lowering blood pressure. The effects of dehydration on blood pressure. Dehydration is a state where the quantity of fluids in your body decreases. This causes the level of sodium in your blood to increase. Your kidneys aren't able to flush this sodium out due to a lack of fluid. This process makes your brain secrete a hormone called vasopressin. High amounts of vasopressin cause your blood vessels to constrict. Consequently, your heart has to work harder to pump blood through these narrow vessels. This increases blood pressure. Low fluid levels in your body can also signal your kidneys to release more renin. Renin is a hormone that maintains the sodium and water balance in the body, and it's also part of a system that regulates blood pressure. How much water should you drink? The rule of thumb is to drink at least eight glasses of water each day, but the exact quantity you need depends on several factors. These factors include age, gender, weight, health conditions, and physical activity. Water is also present in some foods such as fruits and vegetables. Specialists recommend about 11.5 cups or 2.7 liters of daily fluid intake for women and 15.5 cups or 3.7 liters for men. This includes all sources of water, including food, which makes up about 20% of fluid intake. Remember that alcohol does not count as positive fluid intake. Alcohol is dehydrating, so if you feel you must partake, keep in mind the 1 to 1 ratio of alcohol to water. So when should you seek medical help? Adding minerals to your drinking water may be a good idea, but always talk to your healthcare practitioner before adding these minerals. And if a condition such as diarrhea or fever is causing dehydration, seek medical help. This is especially true if you've had diarrhea for more than 24 hours, can't keep fluids down, and are disoriented and sleepier than normal. These conditions can prevent your body from replenishing lost water, and this may potentially increase your blood pressure. Also, drinking adequate water is essential even if your blood pressure is normal. And if you're on medication, don't stop taking it just because you're hydrating your body. In fact, many medications require an increased consumption of water. Always consult your doctor before stopping or changing any medication. In summary, your body needs to stay hydrated in order to function at its best. It is of particular importance as you strive to lower your high blood pressure. If you'd like to incorporate other healthy and delicious foods into your daily eating, get our 101 Blood Pressure Lowering Foods ebook. As you probably already know, the number one way to lower your blood pressure is to eat healthy. That's why we researched and wrote an ebook called 101 Foods to Lower Your Blood Pressure. This ebook contains all kinds of foods that are scientifically proven to lower your blood pressure, and we'd like to give it to you for free. Just go to healthybloodpressure.com and download it today. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.